and then first player moves and back to doing our research so pixel gets her four cards and is buying none four cards we have available well we've got ants which will work well with our heat bacteria card so i think that's got to be a given towing a comet now gaining plants and oxygen is really useful right now so i think that's a given nuclear i don't really see the point in this because yeah you ra i guess it's if you want to speed the game up because it raises the temperature too which will gain you two terraforming rating but then it costs you two points at the end of the game but i suppose that's also that's two income around but yeah, it doesn't seem good enough, don't feel it's needed, especially when I'm the one doing all the heat raising at the moment, or most of it anyway. Um, birds needs a lot of oxygen, so I'm not inclined to get that. So we'll go for the two at a cost of six. Pixel's first action is to convert eight heat to raise the temperature, increasing her terraforming rating. Then play nitrogen rich asteroid which is going to cost her 31 mega credits increasing her terraforming rating by 2 to 34 and increasing the temperature to minus 6 which will increase her terraforming rating to 35 and it will also increase her plant production by 1 because if she had 3 or more tags of plant then it would have been 4 but she doesn't have those but still a lot gained and I'm then going to use both my actions to convert heat. So I've got 16 heat into temperature. So minus 4, minus 2, taking me up to 30 on the terraforming rating. And Pixel is then going to pass. So I'll play a card. I'll play imported nitrogen. Now, because of my shuttle, this only costs me 21 and it increases my terraforming rating to 31 gives me four plants three microbes which i'm going to put on my bacteria card here and it would give me animals but i don't have any cards to put animals on but i will then use my bacteria card here to remove two microbes to increase the temperature one to zero which increases my terraforming rating to 32 and because we've hit the ocean icon here means I get to place an ocean which I'll place here which increases my terraforming rating to 33 and gives me a new card Archeria bacteria uh, max minus 18 oh well we're miles away from that so this is pretty much a useless card that's quite frustrating <laughs> So I might as well use my action to sell patents on that and gain one mega credit. Then I'll convert plants into a greenery tile. So there we go. Eight plants will get me a greenery tile just here next to my other one. And that gets me two plants. As well as raising the oxygen level to 5% and my terraforming rating to 34 and I'm then going to pass, so it's on to production. So our energy moves over, and we get 38 mega credits for Pixel now. So she's made of money. A steel, a titanium, four plants, six energy, and five heat. And I get 34 mega credits more than I've had the rest of the game one steel one titanium four plants zero energy and 12 heat and I become first player so the cards on offer in our research phase we've got arctic algae max temperature minus 12 so that's yeah, ignore that one Lava flows increase the temperature. We're so close to the temperature maxed out. Ignore that. Insulation. Decrease heat production any number of st steps and increase your mega credit production the same number of steps. And it only costs two. 
Okay, that's really good because we've nearly maxed out the temperature and then all that heat production is going to be going to waste. So that is fantastic. And then we've got uh, aer aerobic anomena asteroid. Well, I'm not sure we could afford that really. It'd give them some microbes, not that great. Heat production, not that great. I think we'll just go with getting the one and uh, yeah, leave it at that. So we'll just buy the one for free. And then Pixel is going to buy two. My first action is going to be playing a card, which is the giant ice asteroid, which costs me 34 because of my shuttle. And I'll use nine from titanium, meaning I need to do 25. from Mega Credits. So that's my giant ice asteroid played. And so this increases temperature twice. So that's plus two. And then place two oceans. So I'm gonna go for one down here to get me two titanium. And then I'll go for one just here next to my forests, I think as that will get me one plant and of course that is two more terraforming rating and I'm not done yet I also take six plants off of pixel there we go so that was my first action my second action is going to be converting heat to raise the temperature so that puts us up to plus six and puts me up to 39 on the terraforming rating. Pixel's first action is going to be a standard project of selling patent to get one mega credit. And then she will convert heat into temperature, taking the temperature to its maximum of plus eight and a terraforming rating up to 36. Then... My first action is going to be convert plants into a greenery tile, which can go just here, getting me two more plants, raising the oxygen to 6% and my terraforming rating to 40. And then my second action I'm going to play the insulation card. So this costs two. So nice and cheap. And means I can convert my heat production into mega credit production, but only at this point. So I've got 12. I'm going to reduce it down to one. So I increase my mega credits to 11. Then Pixel plays Nitrogen Reducing Bacteria, which costs 11. And she adds free microbes to the card immediately. And as an action, she can either add a microbe or remove free to increase her terraforming rating. So she's actually going to do that immediately increasing her terraform rating by 1 to 37. Then I'll pay 7 to increase my energy production by 1 and pass. Pixel will then play solar power costing 11 but she'll do 4 of it with steel so it'll only cost her 7 and that increases energy production to seven then she'll play adapted lichen which costs nine and increases her plant production to five and then industrial microbes which costs 12 increases her energy production to eight and her steel production to two and she'll then pass, so we're on to production. So starting with me, I've got no energy to move. I've now got plus 11 
on my mega credit production which with my 40 terraforming rating means I have a staggering 51 this time another one steel one titanium four plants one energy and one heat meanwhile pixels getting 40 mega credits two steel one titanium five plants oh energy needs to move eight energy and five heat so we change first player and on to research and of the four cards pixels been dealt she's going to discard two and buy two and the four cards for us we've got energy saving which will give energy for the cities in play but there's only one city so that's that's rubbish uh, nitrophilic moss well, we've got plenty of oceans oh normal moss okay so this is just a bumped up version of that both of those are useful we need to get plant production going at the moment that's what we're really short on and optimal arrow breaking when you play a space card get free mega credits and free heat hmm I don't know that that's that useful at the moment I think I think we're going to ignore that so we'll just go for these two for six pixels first action is going to be claiming a milestone so that's going to cost her eight and the milestone she's claiming is terraformer because she does have over 35 terraforming rating then her second action is going to be to use steel and five mega credits to build a soil factory reducing her energy production by one and increasing her plant production by one well if that's how pixel wants to play it i'm not going to let her just buy up all the points i'm going to claim the gardener because i have free greenery tiles under my control i will then use my space mirrors paying seven mega credits to increase energy production by one pixel is then gonna build a food factory costing 12 and this will decrease her plant production by one but increase her mega credits to seven and she'll then use her action to add a microbe to her nitrogen reducing bacteria card and i'll then use my giant pile of steel to build my strip mine which will also cost me seven mega credits and this costs me two energy production increase my steel production to three and my titanium production to two and gives two oxygen taking us to eight percent oxygen and me to 42 terraforming rating and i'll then follow it up by playing my towing a comic card so again two plants one oxygen taking us up to nine percent in my terraforming rating to 43 and places the final ocean which uh, where do i want to play it i think over here gaining me a plant as well as a terraforming rating and it's then over to pixel who is going to pass so it stays my go so we'll start with playing some moss which costs four we remove a plant and increase plant production by one and then we'll play some uh, nitrophilic moss losing us two plants and increasing plant production two more and then i'll pass so pixels production first and she's got 44 mega cre credits coming in two steel one titanium 
five plants, seven energy, oh, and we should move all this energy over into heat there, and five heat. Then I get 55 mega credits, three steel, two titanium, seven plants, no energy, and one heat. And I become first player. And up for grabs we have Martian Rails, where we can spend energy to gain mega credits based on the number of cities. There aren't really any cities. Algae, gain plant production, very good. Micro mills, gain heat production, meh. Geothermal power, gain energy production. Well, we don't really need that either, but we might need... No, I think we'll just get rid of that. So we'll just go for the algae for free. And then of the four Pixel has, she'll buy free. So my first action is going to be to do the algae card, costing 10, giving me a plant, and increasing plant production by two. And I'm not going to do a second action, so over to Pixel. Pixel's first action is going to be to build the underground city, costing 18. So she reduces her energy production by 2, increases steel production by 2, and then places a city, which she'll place just here, gaining her one plant. And as her second action, she's going to convert plants to a greenery tile, which is going to place just here, getting her two plants and increasing the oxygen and her terraforming rating by one. I'll then do a standard project to sell patents and I'll sell two cards, getting me two mega credits. And I'll then hand over to Pixel rather than doing a second action. And Pixel is going to plant some heather, costing her six gives her one plant and increases her plant production by one. And we'll then spend eight to fund the Fermalist award. I'll then convert eight plants into a greenery tile that'll sit there and grants me one plant increases the oxygen to 11 and my terraforming to 45. And I will then spend 23 to do the greenery standard action. Which gains me a greenery tile that I'm going to place just there, gaining me two plants, increasing the oxygen to 12% and my terraforming to 46. Then as Pixel has over eight building tags she will claim the Builder Milestone, costing her eight. And she'll then pass. So to finish the generation, I'll convert eight plants into a greenery tile that I'll place just there, which gains me one plant, one oxygen, so one terraforming rating. And I will then spend 23 to do a general standard project of greenery. And I'll place that just there, gaining me another plant, another oxygen, and another terraforming rating. Which means we have terraformed Mars. We're at max temperature, max oxygen, and all the oceans are out. So this is the final generation, and... Pixel has already passed, I'm now going to do the same. So my final production, and I get 59 mega credits, three steel, two titanium, nine plants, zero energy, and one heat. And so I can now convert plants to greenery, only have enough to do the one. And I'll place it just here, gaining me one plant. Pixel's final production, she gets 45 mega credits, 
four steel, one titanium, six greenery, five energy, and that energy should move along, and five heat. So converting her plants into greenery, she has enough for one, and it can go next to her city, just here. So then time to score up. As we enter it, Pixel's terraforming rating is 38, and mine is 48, so there's 10 difference in it at the moment. Then we add on our wards. We've only got one Thermalist, where I only had 10 heat and Pixel had like 50 odd. So she well and truly won that, giving her five. So she's, there's only five in it at the moment. Then on the milestones, I had one and Pixel had two. So Pixel gets 10, putting her five in the lead. But then I get my five, putting us neck and neck on 53. Then our map scoring, I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for all my forests. And Pixel gets one, two, three, four for her forests. But she's then also getting one, two, three for this city and one, two, three for this city. So that's another six putting her two ahead of me on 63 to 61. So with two points in it, it all comes down to the cards. And I had two points worth of cards, which takes me neck and neck with her on 63. But Pixel then had four points worth of cards. So she beat me by four points. Just goes to show, I did a lot more of the terraforming but I didn't pay enough attention to points. She went for the points and that won her the game. And that is Terraforming Mars by Stronghold Games. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. And of course, if you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing to the channel and sharing it with your friends and family. And do also take a look at us on social media. You can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.